you're probably like, why the hell are you doing a video about the best PS Vita games? PS Vita is basically destroyed. It doesn't make games anymore and it just it sucks. Well, you're right, but you know what? I absolutely love handheld consoles and I decided that I was going to put together the list of my favourite PS Vita games or the highest rated ones as well. It's just a mix of everything because I still think PS Vita is a great console. It's just a shame that no game developers seem to think that. Anyway, before we start, I'm just going to tell you that there's two guides down below. One will teach you how I get all my games up to 50%, but usually even more than that off the normal price. It's amazing and you need to check that guide out. It's completely free. And another link is to a YouTube course that will teach you how to create a cool YouTube channel and get millions of views. It's the exact structure that I use on, on all my YouTube channels. So check that out and look, because you're cool. I like you. I'm going to give you a 60% off coupon for that, for that course. All you have to do is type in games alike, all one word at checkout. Anyway, let's get this video started, boys and girls. Odd World. Now, Odd World reminds me of Limbo on drugs mixed with some kind of 90s game. Yeah, that's a good reference and good understanding. So if you enjoyed them things, you're sure to like this kind of 2D shoot 'em up action story game. And it's portable, which makes everything 10 times better. Persona 4 Golden. All I'm going to say to you is if you like RPG games, please go and research this game. It is, if not one of the best RPG games ever, full stop, ever. It is amazingly well reviewed and it's probably one of the best PS Vita games. So if you like RPG games, waste no time, check this bad boy out. Killzone. It had to be on this list because it's one of the best graphical games for the PS Vita. It actually looks amazing, it has amazing gameplay, and if I had this when I was 12 or 13 years old, my mind would have exploded. I remember having a PSP and just dreaming of this kind of graphical ability and shooting ability between my hands. Oh, God. Them like times you go out with your parents and you sit there when they talk to their friends would have been made so much more epic with this game. This list wouldn't be complete without Metal Gear Solid. Seriously, any Metal Gear game is usually pretty awesome, especially if you like open world, stealth kind of shoot 'em ups. And if you do like that, you know what I'm gonna say, it's gonna be for you. It's just a fact. The Binding of Isaac, woo! Don't know why I'm doing that, nothing to do with ghosts, but The Binding of Isaac does remind me of kind of a 90s 2D game, just far more polished and with a far better storyline. This game is just fun, you can just pour hours into it and it is just awesome fun and I highly recommend it. Away. Now honestly, I actually feel sad for this game because it is actually a really amazing, well-designed game. Like the amount of creativity that's got into creating this game is unreal. And I feel sad because I think if this was released on another console or the PC, it would have done far better. Because it is just such an amazingly creative game. It really reminds me of a lot of them classic PlayStation games that are releasing now. Where it's just kind of really indie but awesome at the same time. Very cartoony and very graphical. I'm just saying words, but it's the truth. <laughs> graphical, musical. Art history. Gravity Rush allows you to move the world around you. It allows you to manipulate gravity and just chuck yourself and other things into walls and just smash stuff up. It is actually on PS4 and if you're into kind of Japanese style games, Gravity Rush is totally awesome. It's kind of like Inception, but cartoony and more cool. <laughs> Rayman Origins. Now Rayman was my go-to as a kid. Literally, I spent so much time playing this on PlayStation 2. And I don't know if anybody else remembers them annoying camera angles that you just sometimes couldn't actually see what you were trying to do. But that being put aside, this holds a place in my heart and that's why it had to make the list. That and it's also a really fun game. Lego, if you're like me and you absolutely love Lego, then Lego Star Wars is gonna be a game that you wanna play. Now, I'm not a massive fan of Star Wars, but I can put that aside, my love of Lego. Maybe you can do the same too, bruh. 
Hotline Miami. Now, I honestly wish I could find the artistic words to describe this game. It is some of the craziest gameplay and some of the craziest gaming that you will ever have. There's blood everywhere, there's shooting everywhere, there's explosions everywhere, there is just murder, constant murder, and the graphic design really couldn't even actually explain it if I tried. It's flashy, let's just say that. Freedom Wars. Now, Freedom Wars is another Japanese action roleplay video game. Again, it will give you tons of stuff to do, hours and hours of fun. Now, I personally don't think this game compares, if I'm honest, with Persona 4 Golden, but it's still definitely something for anybody who enjoys RPGs to check out. Seriously, for some reason, RPG games on the Vita are massive. Like, there are two or three Japanese kind of exports that have hundreds of hours of content, and it's like crazy that they got all this on this PS Vita. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this list. I didn't spend too much time going into detail on each video game because most people know them already, and if you don't, you probably don't own a Vita. <laughs> so, yeah, so the list is, even, you're sitting there thinking, should I buy a Vita? No, you shouldn't probably. <laughs> Unless you can get one on eBay for like $100 or something or 50 bucks, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember them two awesome links in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, you know, you can hit the subscribe button. Or don't. You don't have to. It's, it's, I'm not forcing you. And let's be face it, even if you subscribe, are you going to watch another video? Who knows? Anyway, have an absolutely awesome day. See you later. Bye.